Theatre Royal fixed seating uses low back chairs. The low back chairs, this is the one on the left. This is used for all of the stall seating and for the VIP area in the, at the back of the gallery. The high back, the one on the right, is used exclusively for the gallery. The chairs also have uh, a different back angle um, for the gallery, which is more upright than the books chairs for the stalls. Now what that means is that the mounting bracket, these here, which are bolted to the legs, they're different. You can see this one here, which has the kink on the bottom. That is for the gallery. It has a more upright back than this is the stall's bracket. Also, the armrests are also different because with the more upright back, the back comes forward and the armrest has to come forward. So although the armrests look both the same, you look under here, see this bracket here, the, the, fixed, the, the recess for the arm bracket is towards the rear. This enables the armrest to come forward. So that's a gallery armrest and that's a stall's armrest. If you end up with a stanchion in the gallery which has got the armrest pressing into the back, it's probably wrong. You can swap it for a spare. To achieve the seat centres at 480, 490 and 500, we have um, formed the bracket that goes around the stanchion. So you can see here the seat mounting bracket, which bolts onto the stanchion, is formed around it. So this one with the this forming here, it's approximately 10 millimetres on this one. That's the greatest form, and that's for a 480 centre. This is, this is a bit less. You can see the form there, it's about three or four millimetres. That's for a 490 centre. And this one here, which is for a 500 centre, the form is the opposite way round. Now, the brackets, when they're formed, not only to give the seat centres, are also formed at a slight angle. Um, it's probably not possible to see it, but you can see it here, how the brackets taper towards the front. This has enabled you to form a curve With the, so that's the intermediate stanchion I've just described. The aisle stanchion with the aisle panel on it, um, with, the, with the thick aisle panel we've got, uh, we weren't able to use the formed bracket. So we, we've caught, made a common design with a flat bracket, which is used for the beam seating. All of the aisle stanchions with aisle panels are the same with the flat bracket. So what does this mean in terms of the set out of the chair? That means that we've got a set out jig for a 480 for the intermediates, a 490 and a 500. And then for the set out for the aisle panel, for the aisle leg, we have a 480 right hand and left hand, a 490 right hand and left hand, and a 500 right hand and left hand. Uh, it's important to get these correct especially since it's a concrete floor if you fit the if you drill them incorrectly and fit the legs to the incorrect position you will have difficulty fitting the seat and back in uh, and it could well mean that the seat doesn't tip uh, one further thing to look out for in the stalls there's four rows and they're marked on the drawing that this the stanchions are taller so we've added 40 millimeters into into this part of the stanchion this is to enable uh, improved sight lines uh, for those rows. I think that's about all at this stage. Thank you.